So now let us discuss question number 111. Now in which of the following organism there is presence of N oxygenic photosynthesis? Now rhodospirillum it is a bacteria. It comes under the category of purple non-sulfur bacteria. Purple non-sulfur. These three organisms they represent algae, green alga. So they represent lower plants. So now let's see how the photosynthesis is different in bacteria and plants. Now in the plants there is presence of two photosystem. Yes. So you know what is photosystem? Photosystem represents group of pigments, minimum group of pigments which are involved in photochemical act. So in plants there is presence of two photosystem. Amongst these two photosystem, photosystem 2 is involved in breakdown of water. It is involved in lysis of water after absorbing light energy due to which there is release of oxygen. Electron, hydrogen ion and oxygen is released. So it means when in the plant photosynthesis will occur, there is release of oxygen. Such type of photosynthesis you call it as oxygenic photosynthesis. Now what about bacteria? In the bacteria there is presence of only one photosystem. Only one photosystem is there. So now the breakdown of water that is absent. Oxygen release in the bacteria during photosynthesis is absent. So when the oxygen release is absent, you call this type of photosynthesis as N-oxygenic photosynthesis. So oxygen release is absent in the case of bacteria. So right answer for this question is option number 1. So let us proceed towards the next question that is 112. Now in this question number 112, a few normal seedlings of tomato, they were placed in dark room that is in the absence of light and what happens that they were found to be changed into white colored albinos. So what do you call such type of the seedling as? Such type of the seedling is they are known as etiolated seedlings and this process it is known as etiolation. Now in the absence of light, now few things they will occur in the seedling. One, the chloroplast in the absence of light, it is changed into etioplast. Yes, chloroplast is changed into etioplast, right? And in the etioplast, the synthesis of chlorophyll that is absent. Yes, proper grana formation, thylakoid formation that is absent in the absence of light. So due to which the seedling will appear yellow white in color. Right? Now, next feature that is the seedling will grow extra tall. Yes, elongation of stem, elongation of leaves will occur and along with that weakening of stem and leaves is also there. So in the absence of light, all these type of conditions, they are associated with the seedling and such type of the seedling you call it as etiolated seedling. So for this question, the right option is option number 3. So now let's proceed towards question number 113. Question number 113, now which of the following plant growth regulator is known as stress hormone? Now the plant growth regulator which is known as stress hormone that is ABA, abscisic acid. Now, under the stress condition, water stress condition in the plant, when the water stress condition is there in the plant, abscisic acid results in closure of stomata. 
so due to the closure of stomata further water loss from the plant that will decrease so this is how the plant will conserve water under stress condition so abscisic acid will allow the plant to tolerate water stress condition by resulting in stomatal closure that's why you call abscisic acid as stress hormone right so the main function of abscisic acid one main function that it is a preparing the plant to tolerate stress condition similarly one main function of ethylen is ripening of fruits then gibberellic acid is involved in seed germination indole acetic acid that is auxin it is responsible for apical dominance let's discuss next question question number 114 So in question number 114 we have to see which of the following option is correct with respect to gitanogamy So let's say this is a plant in plants I'm showing these two flowers now what happens in the gitanogamy there is transfer of pollen from one flower to the other flower which belongs to the same plant so one pollen is transferred from one flower to the other flower which belongs to the same plant so now we can see what is the right option for this so if you see option number 4 it is fertilization of a flower by the pollen from a flower of another plant no it should be same plant right and next option number 3 fertilization of a flower by the pollen from a flower of another plant again this is wrong fertilization of a flower by the pollen from the same flower no it should be a different flower of the same plant so it is fertilization of a flower by the pollen from another flower of the same plant so this represents gitanogamy so the right answer for this question is option number 1 and one good example for gitanogamy is maize so now let's proceed towards the question number 115 in question number 115 we have to see that in which of the following the male gametophyte contains least number of cells now here we can compare bryophyte pteridophyte gymnosperms and angiosperm yes in the bryophyte the main plant body which is present that is gametophyte fine and sporophyte is dependent fine now coming to the pteridophytes now the pteridophyte condition has changed now here the main plant body which is present that is sporophyte and gametophyte here it is reduced fine in the gymnosperms also main plant body is sporophyte and more reduction is there with respect to the gametophyte now coming to the highly evolved plants that is the angiosperms in angiosperm also the main plant body is sporophyte and here the gametophyte is highly reduced right that is the gametophyte is only represented by few cells so as we move from the lower plants towards the higher plants or from bryophyte towards the angiosperm there is reduction with respect to number of cells present in the gametophyte so the least number of cells which are present in the gametophyte that is in angiosperms so if we look into these four option teres this is a pteridophyte fern funaria 
bryophyte that is moss, lilium, angiosperm, then pinus is gymnosperm. So, the right option here is angiosperm. So, for this question, option number 3 is correct. So, now let us talk about the next question that is 116. 